I had a Toyota Camry here. This one got blasted in this right front frame rail and completely folded it up and it possibly might have moved this frame rail over as well. There's no visible damage, but I'll find out if that's moved once I do some measurements on it. So Toyota actually offers a section in procedure to just put this front section in. And there's a laser weld right here. You can see it on the new frame rail as well. And that's actually where the thickness and strength of the metal changes between the two pieces. So this is, this is made to collapse just like it did. So that makes it a lot simpler rather than having to put the whole frame rail in, which would require a lot more disassembly and a lot more work. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to clamp this one down to the frame machine. Then I will make some measurements and see where everything's at and make some poles, get everything back to spec where it's supposed to be. Then I will go ahead and start cutting this one apart. Also, it has this side of the frame rail and the frame rail end cap. Then it also gets a new radiator support, which I have right here. They have measurements of where they want these clamps at. And you come off the center of the rear wheel and you go 690 millimeters. Said that wrong. This one's at 670 millimeters. Right about there. And then this one, 2,090 millimeters. Now I have to match the measuring system to the vehicle. There's all different attachments here. And I go to five points in the center section of the vehicle and that will match the measuring system to the vehicle so it knows where it's sitting. Then I could go to the front and measure those frame rails. There it is. Now the measuring system knows exactly where the car is sitting. I can come up here and see how far off this front end is. So basically everything measured out good on this besides this front section. So it collapsed and worked just like it's supposed to. That rail is right where it needs to be. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make a couple quick pulls on this. And then I will start cutting this one apart.
so I have this frame rail section all locked in place, clamped in place. I'm taking a few measurements to make sure it's sitting where it's supposed to be. Now I couldn't make this measurement before on the old one because it was just so folded up. So those two measurements are the only ones that I could get to with this bar on there. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a few tack welds on this just to lock it in place. Then I will lift this bar off, unbolt it, lift the bar off, and make a couple measurements to this frame rail end cap just to make sure the very end's exactly right. And assuming that is, I will go ahead and weld the rest of it in, then I will start on my radiator support. So the frame rail is all welded in. Now it's time for the radiator support. Now this comes as a complete unit. However, there's no damage to this top section here. And there's only two or three welds holding it together, just tying these two pieces together. So I'm just going to drill out these two or three welds and separate this piece from the rest of it. And it unbolts up here. Then I'll just put this section in and leave this little part on the car still. I am going to do a couple upper body comparison measurements. I'm checking the length right now. That looks perfect. Now I'm going to do an X to make sure it's square. Perfect.
Well, this one is just about finished up. Last thing is I have a small little spot on this hood I have to repair and get that primed up. Then I will send this one on over to our paint department.